With three days left until Christmas, many families are feeling the stress about how to provide gifts for their loved ones. Fox 40's Jeannie Nguyen joining us live tonight from South Sacramento to show us what one community activist is doing uh, to make sure that nobody is left behind this holiday season. Nikki and Eric, tonight we were we are at a gift giveaway that's being held by the Voice of the Youth organization, and I'm going to step out of the way so you can see behind me here. There is a line of people just standing in line waiting to get their gifts in time for Christmas. Now, many of the people here say they just can't afford this stuff, so this it's this organization's effort in making sure everyone has a Merry Christmas. Christmas is nearly here, and today, Darnell Fraley and Trish Wabe are standing in this line, braving the chilly temperatures. Hey, you guys, Merry Christmas! Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas! But there's only smiles on their faces as Wabe made her way through the gifts, carefully picking only what she thinks her kids will like. It's a blessing, um, definitely. It's just, you know, Christmas wasn't gonna really be a big thing in my house at all. And she's thankful for this gift giveaway because she's a mom of nine kids, ages four through 18. This past year has been especially difficult on her family financially. We gonna get a new house or we gonna do Christmas? <laughs> so, new house is more than, you know, Christmas. Now she says she won't have to worry about how she'll be able to provide presents to her kids. And that's the goal for Barry Axius, founder of Voice of the Youth. It's an organization aimed at helping and mentoring young people, but also providing resources for people in the community. Then they can walk in the household with a bag full of gifts like they just went to the mall. And that's the kind of thing that we want around to bring that experience. Through sponsors, donations, and funding, Axios was able to prepare more than 3,000 gifts. As prices for nearly everything spiked this year, he says this need was greater than ever. With all the pricing going up and people having multiple kids and just having um, multiple family members, we, we feel the struggle. Merry Christmas. And the struggle was especially real for Fraley this year. What was the most difficult thing for you this year? Gas prices. <laughs> Gas prices for sure. As a father of three. Let's go with a, you know, classic carnage. Today's giveaway means his kids will have gifts under the tree on Christmas. Appreciate it. Always need a team. No words, cause no words, no words. It's, I'm speechless, you know, it's a blessing. Now, even though a good chunk of these gifts were donated and provided through sponsors, Barry Axius did tell me that, you know, his organization did have to provide a lot of these gifts and spending upwards of $14,000, but he tells me it's all worth it if it means giving back to his community. Live in South Sacramento, Jeannie Nguyen, Fox 40 News.